So I want to explain something, and it's it's going to be a little bit of you know mental gymnastics because in my head the way I think about it is some sort of distorted Venn diagram and um, having everything in, interconnected in terms of people's concerns and and how they view things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but anyway, let's just jump into it. Um, you know, there were recently uh, mass shootings in the United States. The worst one ever was in Las Vegas, and then the uh, the other one the other day in Texas. All happened, um, you know, in in such a way as to call into question what the U.S. is doing with gun control and and what policymakers are doing in terms of addressing the issue. And um, I even read one article in the McLean's. Uh, which is a Canadian magazine that talked about uh, thoughts and prayers going out to all these victims of mass shootings and mass killings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's always, it's always the same thing over and over again, right? Thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers, and uh, nothing ever gets fixed. But saying that, I, I know that's kind of pulling religion into it, but I kind of wanted to dig a little bit deeper in terms of, of, of religion and you know mass shootings and uh, terrorist attacks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, like I said, it's a bit of a distorted Venn diagram, but I kind of asked myself the other day, why am I atheist? Like, why is this a cause I take up? Like, why why do I do this? Or, you know, for, for as much as it is that I do, um, you know, I think you would have to look at the problem of violence um, or oppression or human rights violations or... Um, or policy making or any any of those all of those any of those issues more holistically than say just focusing on um, you know maybe just the US in terms of its gun violence because it is the the country in the world with the highest gun violence or highest mass shootings etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, so then you have to remember that terrorist attacks are also mass killings um, you know they they lump together in the same thing a bunch of people get killed um, so that's maybe one connection there. But then you have to consider all of religion in terms of taking away women's rights, in terms of, you know, uh, pol bad policy decisions when it comes to um, evidence-based uh, research or, or policy, um, when it comes to climate change and things like that. Um, you have to think about, you know, to, be, to give a specific example of something like Chaupati in Nepal, um, you have to... You kind of have to look at you know women in Saudi Arabia or in Afghanistan or Iran. Um, you kind of have to look at say um, you know blasphemy law in Indonesia or you know a, a number of different things, and um, and that's not even just considering the historical context of of, of violence in the in the religious sense. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is is basically that religion is so much more than terrorist attacks, which we all agree has nothing to do with religion, right? Um, but it, 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 it's a slew of issues that face people in religious communities and religious people and even people who are not religious. Um, and I think if you consider that 84% of the world is religious, um, you know, you would, you would, you, you're kind of left with an issue, while might not be as you know intense in some areas as others, is are still presents a lot of a lot of issues to overcome in terms of you know how we live our daily lives, how we how we go about doing what we do every day, and I think we just have to kind of keep that in mind. It's not saying that the U.S. does not have a problem with mass shootings; they do, and it's kind of it's egregious, like it's it's actually really bad. Um, you know, it's worse than I ever imagined, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, I saw some statistics the other day and realized, yeah, that's, it's pretty freaking bad. Um, but it's, it's not the, it's not sort of the, the comparative study that everybody loves to make it out as, right? Like, you know, well, you know, terrorism only does this and, you know, um, you know, mass shootings does this, blah, 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 and reasons and who's white and who's brown and who's black, blah, blah, blah. I find it a, a little bit silly sometimes. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not like if you solve one, the other one goes away, or if you solve the other one, the, the other one goes away. Like it, that, it won't, it won't work that way, but you've, and, you know, maybe there is some justification in these comparative sort of analyses of, you know, mass shootings versus terrorism, et cetera, et cetera. Um, 
but uh, I find that it, there are two very different issues, and terrorism being a part of the religious issue. You know, I was being facetious when I said, "Oh, we all know it's a part of you know part of whatever," but uh, I think uh, the comparative studies that happen with, between those two things are sometimes misguided and a little bit kind of uh, you know let's attack the United States kind of thing, right? So it's um, it, it's it's that type of Venn diagram that I'm kind of draw out. I'm trying to draw out for you. I, you know, there's numbers that could probably support my arguments. I just have to research it. I just have to find these numbers somewhere. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, my, my explanation is probably as confusing as my metaphorical Venn diagram. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Bye.